So it seems like someone is conflicted about you walking away from something, walking away from a family, a foundation, a friendship, a close connection. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is thinking about how you walked away or how they walked away. Someone is also thinking about the things they did and said along the way. This is someone who has been hot and cold through multiple choices when it concerns a foundation, security, and someone has wasted a lot of time being resistant towards you. This is someone who is waiting, wasting time when it comes to a commitment where they're still resisting you even though they know they admire you. Someone is suppressing something when it comes to family, security, and they're conflicted because there's no chemistry. So someone's feeling you're detached. You're not thinking the same or feeling the same when it comes to time foundation and some type of conflict where the energy is hot and cold. I feel the energy is hot and cold because there's a lack of loyalty. So it seems like there's conflict when it comes to a foundation, loyalty, and chemistry. And I feel someone is upset that you walked away or you're not silenced, no words. Someone feels like you're stonewalling them and they're very emotional about it. Someone's emotional even if they are the ones who walked away. Someone is very affected by your silence because they're feeling like you're healing from the pain. So someone feels like you're healing from the conflict or the pain within a foundation where there is a lack of chemistry and loyalty at this point. But I feel the real frustration here is the fact that someone feels like you're blocking them, pushing them away, avoiding them. There's a sense of confusion because someone feels like you shouldn't be in so much pain or you should just get over something when it comes to respect and loyalty. However, this is something you have yet to release, which is causing someone to feel some type of way that you haven't. This is causing emotional conflict and some type of clashing where there's a lot of dysfunction or differences that's pushing someone to a breaking point. There's a final straw, a limit. Someone is definitely overwhelmed by their emotions now that something has gone into obscurity. Uh, there's a lot going on here. There's a lack of boundaries, I guess. So it seems like someone's gathering their senses or trying to do so, but they're still not acknowledging some things which is causing them to not heal from something. Someone knows that it should have been you or you are the chosen one, but someone is still not wanting to go deep enough. Uh, so someone knows that you have drawn a line within a situation. Hmm. Nourishing yourself. While someone, is else, someone else is sitting in a space where something is forbidden. Someone is giving in to weaknesses and wanting a second chance, but they know that it's not possible. Someone knows something is impossible when it comes to something that they now feel trapped in. Someone feels like their words or their actions have trapped them into a space where you won't change how you feel or think about them. They feel something has gone too far and they can't take some things back. This is why someone has yet to reconcile with you because they feel like there's no space to do so. This energy is very stressed out. There's a lot of tension, arguments concerning you. Mm. That is not for everyone, but someone is talking about you in a way where they're starting to feel they should have never made the moves they made against you. I feel this is someone who took a risk through some very petty or toxic ways, thinking they had everything in the bag or they had others on their side. This is someone who thought that they could make you feel some type of way if there were other people co-signing their mistakes and their energy. But I feel someone's pride, their ego, has been bruised. So it seems like you have bruised someone's pride or ego by healing, being unbothered. Your silence is definitely affecting them. In fact, someone's cloudy judgment is keeping them stressed and turmoil, knowing they need to confess. So it seems like someone's needing to have an open heart when it comes to revealing something, unveiling something, coming clean when it comes to talking to you. But someone has yet to gain a new perspective when it comes to illusion, something that is unbalanced, something that is distorted. This is why you have yet to receive an apology when it comes to someone who is sitting in pride, ego, and stubborn energy. Someone knows they made a mistake, but they're wanting you to believe it's a misunderstanding. This is someone who is yet to apologize because they feel like they won't be forgiven, but I feel this is someone who wants to return, but they have yet to really truly feel they are sorry. This energy is coming out as a lost soul who is sitting in a space of deception, being elusive because they're calling your bluff. Someone is wearing 
a mask and exaggerating the truth because they're bitter, angry, and holding resentment towards you. I feel this is someone who has some very misplaced anger or they're just in a space where they're refusing to believe that you're right. Someone knows that they are wrong for how they treated you or those around you, or it could be both. But I feel this is someone who caused something to be a long journey when it sh never should have been this way. But I feel it's all, all coming from these bitter and petty feelings where someone has, has yet to realize they are your enemy or their own worst enemy, en enemy as this energy has been set up by peers or this is someone who has been drained by peers. This is someone who is depleted yet not wanting you to know or see the truth. This is why there is distance because there's a lot of conflict going on in their life and I feel this conflict is attached to their foundation. Something has run amok over time. Hmm because um, someone is now dealing with their karma, cause and effect. Someone is dealing with a debt and I feel their health is being affected. Mm. So I feel like someone is going through karma and consequence when it comes to realization uh, influences the distance they have placed between the two of you as well as their anger and resentment has caused a lot of pain and loss in their life. Someone is wanting to blame a lot of things on you but I feel they've caused themselves to go through this mayhem all because of their negative thoughts their negative mindset someone has cursed themselves someone wants to believe wants to believe that you are the reason for their stress their debt but i feel someone is just not realizing they are the problem and you would have been the solution because now that there's distance because of someone's petty behaviors or bitterness there's no peace there's no balance there's no peace and balance within a close connection of family hmm. because someone doesn't see the possibilities within a soulmate, the sorrow. Someone's not thinking straight. Someone's not thinking straight when it comes to what they did to a twin flame. Hmm. But I feel something shocking is about to take place when it comes to someone who knows something is shattered, broken, or destroyed. I feel this is someone who is having blocked emotions someone knows they messed something up this is why there's also mixed signals about someone who's yet to realize why they're trapped or why there is no second chance this is someone who just believes an apology will fit the bill or do just fine but someone's gonna have to do way more than that if they expect to have your attention as it seems you have learned some very hard lessons from some very unsavory people mm. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons through false perceptions and connections that seemingly took you for granted. Now someone is realizing something went too far, something cannot be resolved without respect and true change when it comes to choices. However, there is a plot twist here when it comes to someone who is still not being brutally honest with you. I feel this is someone who is also struggling financially. Someone doesn't want you to know what's going on in their life. And even if you ask, this energy wouldn't be honest about it. In fact, things are definitely getting spicy. Things are getting over overwhelming. And someone is wanting to take flight when it comes to something that they know is toxic. But the fact that you are being cautious when it comes to them is starting to irritate them. Someone is wanting to backtrack, take something back when it comes to having animosity, violence, or some type of disagreement with you. Someone is realizing they should have just kept it simple or just popped up to help you, be there for you without you asking, but someone has retreated even though they know they want to shoot their shot. I feel this is someone who is now broken or they just become a brick wall. Someone is too old to change or too, few, too out of it to change. Hmm. But this energy is still being disrespectful in some way, whether that is insults or body language, someone is just doing the most when they should be trying to move closer towards you. However, there, however, there will be some type of curveball, some instant situation that takes place here. Someone may need you financially, but I feel this third party energy is definitely flexing in a big way. This is going to cause some type of sudden change out of the blue. Someone has trusted the wrong people. These are the same people that they have tried to use against you that are now turning on them. This is some type of war beef and it's turning up real quick because someone is wanting to move around, take flight, someone is wanting to leave abruptly, but there's nowhere to go. 
someone is realizing they should have just kept it simple because they know that you would have been there for them but they just did too much did too much when it comes to disrespecting you throwing shade because in so many ways many of you are on a come up and someone is starting to realize it's not tough love many of you are just tired of dealing with someone who is toxic so it almost seems like someone is wanting to reach out to you but i feel like this war the separation these harsh words are just too much someone is thinking that they get can get out of this easily but i feel you're not pretending you're not calling someone's bluff your actions are real and someone is just lacking motivation and understanding to even see it however there will be judgment this could be a final decision this could be legal matters but someone is not going to get their way after doing something excessively hoarding trying to start a war or beef where there only should have been love there i feel there is great disappointment when it comes to this energy you trusted this person and they failed you multiple times now you could be detoxing from someone who is in savage mode not really truly caring about anyone else but self and for many of you you feel they may not even care about themselves and how they move i feel like this energy really didn't look in the long term when it comes to something coming back to haunt them someone never really thought anyone would find out the truth of their words or action but something is coming up when it comes to an entanglement someone's jaded ways of being a fraud a scamster someone who is all hype yet detached detached and all ego someone is coming out as out of sync a fraud someone who is not being the adult about a situation but this energy is still not giving any real talk no deep conversation someone's still failing to go deep with you even though they're in their feelings about you this is someone who is wearing a mask they don't want you to know what's going on in their life as i said before someone is hiding behind this false identity and it just might look good on the outside but trust me they are big mad on the inside i feel like this is someone who's clearly taking things out on you even though they took you for granted, as it seems, this is someone who has some type of misplaced anger, envy, or even jealousy hidden in spaces here. This could be in this group of people or this particular energy, but please take it how it resonates. But they're out of whack and upset with the wrong people because they're emotionally charged, impulsive. <sighs> Something is going on with their energy because they've been a fraud for so long. I feel this is someone who wants to talk to you, but they feel like you won't talk to them. Not at this point, not after all the lies and deception, they feel like you won't believe a, a word they say, and I feel that is rightfully so. I feel this is someone who is upset because you're no longer pressed. This is someone who feels upset because you're not obsessed with trying to fit in or come back or fight for your position. These are energies who believe that you would chase. Hmm. Well, as I said before, this is someone who has a crowd of people who provoke their energy and I feel like without this mob-like mentality, without the support, this energy is nothing. This is someone who is pressed to make a move but this energy doesn't want to feel weak but I feel it's all starting to hit different because this energy is lurking, stalking, talking about you to people who are not talking to you either but I feel this is a squad. Hmm. This is an inner circle family, a group of people who are being reckless when it comes to their words or even their emotion. And it's giving triggered, triggered energy from unhealed people who are traumatized and in solitude. These are energies who are about to get caught up or they have already been revealed for who they are. I feel these are energies who are risking it all for nothing by being petty, immature, and closed-minded, reckless with you. I feel these are energies who are salty, not just about something with you, but I feel salty in general about life. But I feel the major key here is something is old news in the past. Someone salty and upset because they're taking a lot of losses, setbacks. They're going through failure, through mind games, manipulation. Someone is wanting to guilt trip you. Someone wants you to feel bad about your choices, but many of you are doing things unapologetically this season. Hmm. Not caring about who you lose in the process. Many of you know you're dealing with someone who is pretending to be woke. Yet they're talking in circles, hoping it throws you off. Hmm. But I feel this is someone who is yet to realize all they have to do is appreciate you, give you your flowers, and stop stringing something along. These are energies who 
are still doing things they know don't add up, but they're still not being honest or straightforward, taking something for face value. Someone is telling bold face lies. Someone is all talk, no walk. But I feel at this point, many of you are realizing something is out of your hands, above your head, when it comes to someone who has definitely pushed you to your limit. It almost seems like you don't know this person at all. I feel like this is someone who's gotten caught up in their own games, their own lies, some type of entanglement where someone is not wanting to appear weak, but they're in their feelings. Someone is in their feelings about their own deceit, their financial struggles. Someone is feeling some type of way about choices that were made They they can't take back. There is too much time. Wow. So it seems like someone is don't want, not wanting to be judged. And this is why they're not talking. Someone is wanting or knowing they need to do something in person, but they already know something has been out of sync for too long. You won't respect them. You don't respect them. And someone is now realizing not having your respect is worse than you being mad at them. I feel this, um, this is someone who has been in savage mode for some years, thinking they are getting away with something. With this payback energy of being petty, they are also tagging others along who are not being an adult about a situation. But as I said before, someone was trying to call your bluff and it didn't work out. In fact, I feel someone exaggerating the truth or trying to blame you for something that didn't take place is definitely going to backfire in the worst way. Because as I said before, there's a lot of hidden energy. People are not being honest about what they're thinking or even what they're saying about you. This is strange and unusual. Someone is boasting, bragging, asking questions, but not really wanting the right answers. Someone is wanting to hear the worst of the worst. Someone doesn't want to hear the good about you. In fact, this is someone who is laying it on thick when it comes to stabbing you in the back. Wow. So it seems like someone is laying it on thick because they don't want you to walk away. Someone doesn't want you to be better by yourself. Someone doesn't want you to be independent. This is someone who is yet to show you any type of gratitude because of their own insecurities. And this is why they always seem to stab you in the back. Someone is also wanting to bait you in with some type of offer. But I feel you must trust your intuition when it comes to someone who needs to start from the ground up. I feel this is a situation where you're not very interested and someone is realizing they're going to have to settle for those around them that they cannot trust. So it seems like someone's needing resources. Someone is struggling in a way where they're going to need some help soon. But I feel something's going to have to get worse before it gets better because they're not spiritually guided. So it seems like someone is upset that you're okay by yourself and even though that you are in a space where things are not easy you're still surviving and someone is like trying to figure out how or why but i feel your ancestors and your guides have been there from the start and i feel you're the one thing they don't play about i feel these are energies who have yet to give you gratitude because you're unwilling to share this is why someone is trying to lay it on thick when it comes to creating some type of hostile environment someone wants you to feel uncomfortable because they cannot alter delete or control you this energy is on a witch hunt doing something overly excessively or um, they're overdoing it when it comes to their anger towards you i feel this is someone who just wants attention whether it's good or bad but this energy is wanting their way, even if they have to have a, a crazy mob behind them. This is someone who really can't make moves if they don't have cosigners. But I feel this is someone who wants you to be stuck in the middle. And this is why they're getting caught up in a mouthful of lies. Someone is wasting opportunity hmm, with childish behaviors and scarce energy or scarce mentality where someone is seeking attention. Yet seeking attention is only sidetracking someone who has deep-seated discrimination or feelings toward you. This is someone who is pretending to play nice. Pretending to be nice when they are completely sour. Someone is easily bothered at the fact that they can't set you up to fail. In fact, this is someone who is very belligerent about the fact that they are holding a grudge against you. This is someone who is pretending that everything is good, but it's not. This is someone who wants you to fall or wants you to feel the way that they feel 
In fact, they could be laughing behind your back, but I feel the laugh is on them. I feel you will be laughing the laugh last last. So someone is wasting their trying, trying to set you up to fail, publicly embarrass you. Someone is being cryptic about the fact that they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. I feel this is someone who is wearing their heart on their sleeve because they're not able, capable like you are. But I feel the truth lives when it comes to someone who's skating on thin ice. Skating on thin ice when it comes to sugarcoating the truth. Someone is trying to bait you in or bait others in. But I feel this is someone who is about to be easily distracted by a complete change. So there's about to be a 180 complete change when it comes to someone who could be stringing something along due to insecurities. I feel someone stabbed you in the back by being dismissive of your true feelings or emotions and they started to overshare about you just to put you in your feelings or knock you off your your balance or someone is wanting to put you in a place or put you in your place someone wants you to learn some harsh lessons here but as i said before this is someone who has caused you to learn some lessons that many of you won't forget but i feel the lessons that you learn and the lessons they learn are totally different i feel this is someone who who's about to learn some lessons in stringing things along being belligerent in their insecurities and you're about to learn some lessons about trust hmm. Wow, I feel someone's going to have to hit the brakes when it comes to the truth because the truth will outweigh their lies. Hmm. Because at the end of the day, they're wanted, but they're not needed. This energy is coming out as an imposter, someone you are very cautious about. And I feel that is rightfully so. As it seems, there are energies here who are carrying a sense of jealousy or hidden energy towards you. Wow. This is something that is overwhelming in some type of way because someone is needing to hit the brakes. Someone is pushing something to a limit, not realizing it's all about to crash and burn. It was never meant to go anywhere. But someone's going to have to learn that the hard way when it comes to coming up against someone who was chosen to have a bigger purpose than what has been given. I feel this is someone who has a mob-like mentality all because they feel you won't share. Someone's feeling that you're being childish, but I feel you're just trying to survive just like they are. But someone is taking offense to you surviving or you not giving a fuck or not giving your attention to them someone is upset that you have possibly found your way and they have yet to do the same i feel like this is someone who never really thought that things would turn out in the way that they have huh. i feel like there's a lot of envy jealousy and words that you wouldn't approve of that is being spread about you in the spirit of those you thought you once knew I feel like these energies could be in the early stages of getting what they deserve. I feel these chameleon energies, they go both ways here. They can be whoever they want to be in the moment where they have tunnel vision when it comes to strategy. Wow. These energies can be very charming. When it almost feels like you have received an apology, this energy has given you nothing at all. But I feel when it comes to their lies, their strategy, someone's mastermind ways, it's all starting to chip. It seems like the pain is starting to chip in a situation where there's flaws and layers of disrespect, hidden feelings, secrets, illusions, where something is faded when it comes to it all going up in smoke. There's a lot of lies, a web of lies, in fact, where there's a sticky situation that needs to be cleaned up. I feel this is a situation where there is a lack of balance due to the lies, deception, competition, games, and foolery. It's all starting to unravel. Hmm. Someone is on the edge about that. Hmm. So it seems to me, even though there's energies here laying it on thick and this codependent energy of others attacking you in a group, or this could be single, please take it how it resonates with you. This doesn't have to be a group of people. However, there seems to be a group that can't wait to connect or reach out to you. Yet there may also be a few who despise you because they can't figure out how you get through these things. 
So it seems like this is someone who doesn't like that you may have dodged something here. Because there's a tower moment where things are now erupting. In fact, I feel things are erupting right now as we speak. Things are just going up in smoke when it comes to de lies, deception, the same pain that was given to you is being given to others. There's competition here and a lot of emotions due to someone's deception. But as I said before, this chameleon is in the early stages of a tower moment where things are erupting due to someone's immature, wild, reckless ways. I feel this is someone who is being judged or a uh, decision is being made final. There's a lot of burdens and baggage here when it comes to a judgment. There will be karma. So there will be karma when it comes to someone who is in the early stages of having some confusion when it comes to their pride. But this energy is still coming out as a chameleon who is used to being whoever they need to be, but is very confused on how you keep getting what you want out of life. Someone's not realizing you have gone through your own sacrifice, but this energy is just too guarded to realize anything that really makes sense. I also feel this energy is going through karmic lessons when it comes to commitment, tradition. Someone is restricted. So it seems like someone is restricted due to their abandonment or even their neglect, but I feel this is someone who has a keen eye or this energy is observant or still watching you. This energy could be watching you or you are still trying to get information about you, but whatever the case, this energy has no facts. This energy is coming out as a chameleon who has tunnel vision on strategy, and I feel that just might be their biggest loss. Someone's not realizing the words that they have said about you will be their biggest downfall. And even though they're going through dark times that are erupting right now, this was all faded. Someone knows it was all faded. Wow. So it seems like someone who was trying to set you up to fail is really in a space where they're trying to figure out why you're not in a space that they are emotionally, mentally, financially, spiritually. This person is being broken down in many ways. In many ways, this energy is being stripped down to nothing. But I feel it's only because they don't know the half of your pain. As this is someone who definitely believes they know you better than you know yourself. Someone is coming up with ways to bring you down to their level, make you feel some type of guilt, shame, or even pain. But I feel that is not your energy in this season. As I sense many of you would rather distance yourself behind the lack of love, honesty, and even respect and change. However, I do feel these trials. Hmm. I feel these trials have been allowed in your life so you don't have feel the need to go back or even look back. And many of you, you're not looking to do any of that. All because of this unfinished business, I feel many of you are now sitting in the stepping stones of a brand new life. And someone's just going to have to find that out the hard way. As many of you are leaving some things behind. Especially when it comes to a relationship or unfinished business secrets. Secrets due to someone's greed. Someone has lost their identity. So someone has lost their identity through ego and just being bored. Someone took a chance to offend or hurt you. But as I said before, this is all out of ego and greed. Someone just took something to another level just because they could. Many of you are wondering why this person is attacking you or coming for you, and there's no true reason why. But I feel many of you stood up, stood up for self, even though someone was misguiding you or misleading you. This energy just got too comfortable being toxic. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, this is someone who really took things too far, hurting you without cause and got nothing from it as they have truly shown you their true colors through their actions and when it comes to loving and respecting you because now that you're silent or over the game someone is taking it personal as they could be holding back in many ways or even being spiteful towards you as they still try to justify and excuse their behaviors and even their actions until maybe you can finally prove otherwise but I feel many of you have no energy to give to someone who is giving you no effort. 
This energy has given you no effort because they're too comfortable with misleading and being greedy and sitting in ego. This energy has been toxic and has lost who they used to be many years ago. And if they ever thought that you were going to prove them otherwise, they shouldn't hold their breath. Because you're not. You're not holding your breath when it comes to an apology, someone misleading you, or being undecided. Because this energy always seems to be accurate or consistent in hurting you. This is someone who is putting in no effort because they receive more out of mixing up things or having some type of misunderstanding with you. Someone is banking on the fallout so they can cover up the details or even their lies. Someone is banking on the miscommunication. So it seems like someone is angry because what they destroyed was mostly in their life instead of yours. Many of you were able to put the pieces back together and this is someone who is still waiting for the dust to settle. There's a lot of upheavals, losses, and chaos going on in their life. There's many things that have been shattered and destroyed all because of their deceit. Their deceit and their misery because trust me, their misery definitely runs deep as this is someone who has the ability to step up to the plate or make better choices yet I sense they just believe it's easier to deny what they're thinking and feeling instead of healing from it. Now instead of them being your person for life, they're gaining lessons of life through conniving ways that will only humble them in the end. Because from what I can see, it will soon eat them up over the span of their lifetime. So for many of you, this is someone who is sitting in anger and misery, and this is why there is no effort. There is no effort when it comes to unfinished business because someone has gotten too comfortable with being perceived as the enemy or being perceived as the victim in this, in this case. Because this is someone who is creating troubles. This energy is creating a storm. There won't just be a rough patch. It will be a, a time in their life where there is conflict, tension, upheavals, explosions, unstable energy that will never end. This is an upheaval of chaos that will destroy them. I feel there are many things that will be lost that will be beyond repair when it comes to a situation connected to values, third party energy, and accusations of someone alleging that you have been evil or you're doing things out of spite when you have done nothing but be peaceful and loving to someone who is going to use your words and your love against you. I feel this is someone who is holding back because they feel it's all they can do, as this is someone who will soon regret their choices. Someone's going to soon regret being inconsistent, but I feel it's only because they're scared. Someone is scared of your boundaries. Someone is afraid that you're going to say no. Treat them a certain way. Treat them in the way that they have treated you. I feel the ball is now in your court. And even if it doesn't seem that way, I don't see anything moving forward without you. Because as I said before, this will be someone who soon regrets what they should have said or even what they should have done as something can't be recovered with just an apology but they're banking on it someone is banking on the history of this hoping that you're still attached but someone is still hiding true self someone is still masking what they feel when it comes to a relationship but that would only put them in the season of karma and trust me it's gonna be a long hard road for someone who is still masking emotions and hoping the history of this relationship will save them however I do see some type of pressure there seems to be pressure here coming from someone going through a lot of conflict there's a thick atmosphere here where there is disputes fights the strained energy here someone is definitely affected emotionally Someone's health, health is affected too. You can see it in their face. So it seems like over time, there will be pressure. Pressure that brings on a strong ending when it comes to someone who is arrogant about what they've done to you. So arrogant that someone is still on the prowl, but someone will soon be in regret because of it. Because as I said before, an apology won't recover all of this. However, your silence... I feel your silence here is truly needed when it comes to someone who knows they're guilty. I feel your silence is needed because even if they pretend to not care or see the wrong in what they've done, your silence will soon be the only thing they seem to hear 
as it is not only priceless, but also your strongest tool when it comes to humbling them.